and hello again I'm Alin welcome to my channel new media today I'm gonna unbox for you a tripod which I've just bought I hope it'll be good it says KNF concept I've been watching quite a few reviews about this and everybody says it's very good and versatile so let's begin see what we've got here a box Small handbag, nice. It should be very handy when you go somewhere. Just grab it, put it in, and here it is. The tripod itself. Let's see what's in the bag. Nothing more. Ah, oh, we've got a Shoulder strap in the back, good, good one, yeah. So this is how it is. Let's take it out. We also have a user manual with it. In a small bag. And we are gonna check what's inside. And the wrench, good. So we've got a lot to do with this. I'm gonna put it to work and then see what's happening. I'll be right back. You gotta hit play. So here it is, guys. We've got three poles. In order to bring them back, you've got the release here. You just press on it and the pole goes back. They are very easy to use, I mean, I take it out very easy. You just twist, take out, twist, take out, twist, take out. Comparing to other tripods, you can just barely take them all out. So it's the first one, click, take out, click again. I'm not sure how many of you guys have been using tripods so far. For me, it's the second one. I had a cheap one from Amazon, which is not too good, not too sturdy. You cannot uh, do anything you want with it. But this one, I've been using it for a while, and for me, it's very good. So let's just click, click. Okay. Now, what we've got here, twist it. And take it out, take it out, twist it again just to fix it, fix it in the position. But if you want to make it a bit longer, you need to twist the release here and take it out. Twist the release back and it's there. For twisting and turning it, if you want to turn the camera got another release here and now when you tighten it you cannot do it anymore is it good or is not good another good part for this but at the same time it's a very bad one it's a, the ball head here the ball head here is very good for product presentation see Mount the camera here, straight on the desk or wherever you just have anything you need to show. But the thing is, uh, it just keeps going down. If you want to keep it just a bit tilt, like let's say 45 degrees angle, you cannot. And think about, I've got a pretty small camera. It's a Sony ZV-10, which you've got the, uh, the presentation in one of my videos. If I keep it here, I tighten it, stays like that for a while and then keeps going down, see? So it doesn't matter how tight you twist it, still won't hold. So for me, this is a, a bad thing, because you might as well want all the angles to be there. But let's go further away. We've got another ball head here. In order to twist it, we've got another knob. Release, twist, tight don't twist for the camera here to tilt it with a ball head 
release from here keeps moving up and down in any position you want twist it back and it's sturdy and all the way up here we've got the quick release plate we just unmount it take it off mount it underneath the camera put it back here and it's very good one of the things that I really like about it is maybe you need to record something at the ground level so to do that you can also mount the camera on this tripod as follows so first you need to press the release and take the poles up this is the easiest way for me and then here at the bottom you've got a hook it's either you've got heavy camera but I'm not sure how heavy your camera should be so you need to hang something from here I don't know but what, hap what happens is you unscrew this hook here take it off there's another rubber piece twist the release from here take it off turn it stick it back in now mount back the rubber piece and the hook and now take the pole back down again And with camera mounted here, like I said, at ground level, you can see the pictures right now. You can mount the camera and just film anything you want, record, take pictures. Maybe you've got a, a remote for your camera, which would be easier since it stands there. You've got my, uh, my review of a remote camera, which I use it every time and it's very good, both from Amazon. So it's very good. Another nice, nice feature is one of the poles can twist it off and then again take off the hook take off the middle pole from here and mount the camera holder on the pole It's one piece. Let's see how tall it is. I am six feet tall, so it's pretty much good because if you want to film over something, you just have the camera on top of it, and it is a very good feature of this. Or just keep the camera because you're gonna hold it for too long. And it's perfect and now if you remember in the beginning I told you we've got a small wrench in the back which is this one and what we do with it is take out the quick release plate I think just in case you want to mount something else on top of it which again is very useful you never know what you're gonna need take a screw out And we also have a water bubble here, just to measure, to level it, which is very good. And on top of it, 
the ball head tilt it on something else it's very good well this is it for today if you like it just please share subscribe and like and see you in my next video